specifications, basic information, model Nubia Z60 Ultra, processor Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, internal memory RAM 8 GB slash 12 GB slash 16 GB ROM 256 GB per 512 GB slash 1 TB, operating system Nubia MyOS 14, battery 6000 mAh, color black slash silver, dimensions 163, 98 by 76, 35 by 8, 78 millimeters, weight 246 G. Processor memory, processor Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, RAM 8 GB slash 12 GB slash 16 GB, LPDDR5X, RAM 256 GB per 512 GB UFS 4, main display, screen size 6, 8 inch, resolution 2480x1116, refresh rate 120 Hz refresh rate, PPI 400 PPI, color gamut 100% DCI P3, display technology AMOLED. Multimedia, DTS HD Sound, Video Player H, 263MPEG4H, 264H, 265VP9, Music Player AUG AMR and BMR WBACAC Plus EAC Plus MI DIMP3 WAV FLAC LACAB, Picture Format JPEG PNG GIF BMP WBMP, Connectivity, Wi-Fi Support Wi-Fi 802, 11A slash B slash G slash N slash AC slash AX slash B, Wi Fi 7, Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5, 4A2DP, look, languages. Location Support L1 slash L5 Dual GPS, GLONASS, BDS, Galileo, QZSS. Sensors Fingerprint G sensor, electronic compass, gyroscope, proximity, ambient light sensor, sensor hub, battery, 6000 milliamp hours, TYP, capacity battery. Though we have reviewed a lot of phones, but every time when I review Nubia phones, I get excited because they always have something different and often surprise us with their eye catching features. This Nubia Z60 Ultra is supposed to be the last flagship phone released in 2023. And as the curtain call phone for 2023, I wonder if it can live up to our expectations. And although it's a bit late, Happy New Year. Whenever we marvel at how beautiful Red Magic phones are, we often sigh, if it wasn't a gaming phone, I'd definitely buy it. Of course, Nubia knows what we expect, so here's the Red Magic 9 Pro that's more suited for most people. Like the Z50 Ultra, the Z60 Ultra still has that super square design. There's also the Elite slider at the side and it's moved to a position below the power button, making it easy to use. It's a shame that the camera is still bulging, but at least you get three really great cameras, which we will talk about later. As you can see, we got them in their most special colorway, the Starry Night. It's the colorway that was created using Van Gogh's famous painting as inspiration and it's very pretty in the light. The IP68, which is a basic feature of this year's flagship phones, is not absent either. If I had to say the downside of this phone, I'd say it's still a bit big and heavy, but I'm totally okay with that because the battery life is just mind-blowing great. Usually we talk about the charging and the battery life part at the end, but with this phone, I'm going to tell you how great it is right now. If 5,500 million is considered a really big battery, the Z60 Ultra's 6,000 million battery is simply massive. It has the longest battery life we've ever tested in a non-gaming phone. We did unboxing shorts, gaming, camera, and benchmark tests, and it still didn't need to be charged, which proves how impressive its battery life is. Unfortunately, the Z60 Ultra doesn't have big charging power, it's only 80 watt, and it doesn't have wireless charging, which is probably to balance out the big battery. The Nubia Z60 Ultra still uses the same 35mm main camera and 85mm telephoto, but the ultra-wide camera has become 18mm. Let's start with what I think is the best ultra-wide camera in this phone. 
This camera has autofocus, which means the Nubia Z60 Ultra is capable of taking macro photos. Other than the field of view, which does tend to be a little narrower than other phones, it's pretty much a perfect camera. It even has OIS, so it ensures excellent image quality in very dark conditions. Without a doubt, it should be one of the best ultra-wide cameras I've used in 2023. The telephoto camera takes great pictures most of the time, but there are times when it will mm, not work as well. For example, on other phones, it is popular to use the telephoto camera as a macro camera, but the closest focusing distance of Z60 Ultra's telephoto is over 60 centimeters. So you want to use the telephoto camera to get a close-up shot of the food? No way. But lens flare, it must be at somewhere. Plus, it has the strongest sharpening algorithm of the three cameras. The Z60 Ultra's telephoto camera doesn't work as well as you'd expect it. So, 7 out of 10. The 35mm main camera is also one of my favorite cameras of 2023. In addition to better composition, it takes incredibly sharp photos. There's no sharpening algorithm, it's a real physical hardware created to sharp. And it has a super shallow depth of field, it's like a DSLR shot. Of course, the downside of 35mm main camera is bad performance in shooting video, because in order to use EIS, the footage will be cropped. You can see that the footage is very much smaller. So ultra-wide camera is recommended for daily recording. Here's good news and bad news. The good news is that all three cameras support 4K 120fps video recording. The bad news is that you can't switch between cameras in 4K recording, not even at 30fps. To be honest, as a photography enthusiast, Nubia's flagship phone has always been my favorite. Apart from the reasonable focal lens of the three cameras, it also gives us many switches to let us make good use of the camera freely. For example, the buttons here shows the focal lens rather than how many times I zoom. Alert slider also turns on street mode by default. So Nubia's head of a camera department must be photography expert. Otherwise, there's no way to explain why it has so many features that photography enthusiasts love. It would be nice to see a collaboration between Nubia and a camera brand in the future. The current color science are rather average and not impressive enough. Everyone knows that phones with good cameras don't usually perform well, but the Z60 Ultra is an exception. Since Red Magic and Nubia are brothers, it makes sense that Z60 Ultra is a strong performer. While the CPU throttle test scores don't look as good as the K70 Pros, the maximum and average performance are both stronger. If you're looking at these two screenshots and worrying that it's not strong enough, take a look at this graph. You should know very well what this is so straight line means. It makes miracles with a little higher power consumption and temperature in Genshin becoming my dream gaming phone, even though they said it's not a gaming phone. Thanks to this large, perfectly straight screen, the gaming experience is also great. And there are a lot of features that are very similar to its brother, such as bypass charging. You can understand it like this. The Z60 Ultra is actually a Red Magic 9 Pro without a building fan. I think it should be the best regular phone for good gaming experience in 2023. Looking at the specs, the screen isn't exactly outstanding, which is why I didn't talk about this screen until now. There are just two words you need to remember about this screen straight and complete. While the selfies will take you back to 20 years ago because of this under display camera, the impact of a full screen is really impressive. It's one of the things that gives Nubia's flagship phone an edge over other phones. I guess after watching this video, the Z60 Ultra should perform much better than you guys thought. There are a lot of things that only this phone can do, such as a 35mm main camera, a full street screen, and a 6000 mAh battery that other phones simply can't do. Those of you who like selfies, smaller phones, and need wireless charging, I wouldn't recommend you to buy it. Others, I think you can buy it with no worries, especially since it's really not expensive either. So which do you think is the best phone of 2023? Feel free to tell us in the comment section. I'm Will Fangs from China. We'll see you next time.